So as we are in the first month of the new year, many students of middle school have to face the hard decision of choosing what high school and what kind of student to be in the next five years. So I thought that could be useful to make a video trying to explain what is my experience as a student and as a graduated at the Aeronautical Technical Institute. Of course, I will be talking of the pre-COVID situation because I graduated in 2020 and I lived the management of the pandemic situation only the last year. So I will talk about that too, of course, but this is not the actual situation right now. This is a little disclaimer, I'm talking about a pre-COVID situation. So try to get all the information you can get from this video and then make a choice and then uh, have a general idea. The institute, I attended the Aeronautical Technical Institute of Rome de Pinedo, which is uh, an historical institute. It's not that old, he has only 50 years, but it was the first one and took the lead of what all the other aeronautical institutes are right now. And they have graduated so many different persons, so many different students that right now are manager in aviation for uh, companies like Anna or pilots, of course, of any airline company or pilots in the military, pilots from the famous uh, acrobatic group uh, Frecce Tricolori. So, uh, yeah, they have a uh, history from this point of view. I will start telling you my opinion and my thoughts about this school. Of course, it's cool. You get all the poor stuff, you definitely get bored, sometimes you don't want to study, but to me it was different because I really loved what I was going to do. Uh, one thing that I really liked was the teachers and professors that always try to find a dialogue with the students, to have an individual uh, communication, to find what was going on and what was not. I have to say it, I, I really liked that because, not, not to me, I, I didn't live that part of my skin, but when I saw all the students that got help from the professors that was talking to him, was saying, all right, why we are not getting uh, in the right way? And the students explained it and the professor was listening. And even for, to remember my uh, religion professor, which always taught about leadership and our mindset, how we have going to encounter life. Because when you get into high school, you're actually getting harder too. And most of the time, a lot of professors forget it. Sometimes it's just the fact that students are getting harder at the same time. Professors were 90% very, very good professors and with a lot of experience. What I would change on the school, I would definitely change something practical. I would change uh, teaching materials. Well, not the book, but I would improve digitalization of the teaching material because at least in Italy, um, in Italy, this kind of school has six to seven hours of lesson per day for five days. When you're going to school, you're, you're probably going by bus or with public transport. You know, you have to carry this bag full of books because you're probably going to have four to five subjects and those have one book and a notebook each at least. I will go for a full digitalization or at least 50%. I'm talking about hours of lessons, I would like to talk about the educational room. As I said before, we are talking about days. Every day, lesson starts at quarter past eight and will end at 10 minutes to 3 p.m. twice a week and for the rest of the week and at 2 o'clock. 
Of course, you don't go to school on Saturday, you don't have any class. In the first two years, don't expect any uh, subject that speaks or is about uh, aviation. Just one in the second year, but which is just a smattering of what aviation is or what flight is. Like 0.02% of what are you going to do in the next three years. If you pass this year and you decide that you want to stay, uh, then you will decide what you are going to do. So you can decide three paths. The first one is uh, basically maintenance. The second one is logistics. The third one is navigation. What are we going to talk about is the third one because it's the one that I've chosen. And I have to tell this, if you like it, you're really going to join the ride because it's fascinating, it's uh, great. You start to do things with airplanes, you start to do flight plans, you start to manage uh, an airspace thanks to the simulators that the schools provide you. I have to admit it was absolutely great for an aviation enthusiast, it's uh, something wow. And uh, the best thing that uh, I took as a motivation to carry on and keep uh, studying was that third year you have just four hours if i do remember well navigation which is the main subject that that gets you into aviation and the fifth year they get to eight hours a week for uh, for the theory for the professor that teaches you theory and and the other four are in the simulator so it's pretty amazing pretty amazing I took it as a motivation because I thought, well, if I do like it right now, then I'm doing only four hours a week. And when I'm going to uh, to the fifth year, I'm going to enjoy it even more. So I have to keep studying, I have to keep going very well. Then I'm going to talk about the building of the school. It's not old, but it could be treated a little bit better. As you may know, in Italy we don't have a great management, we don't have a great financial situation. But I have to say that one thing is great, which are sports areas. You have a brand new area where you can have uni hockey, basketball, uh, volleyball, uh, football. I have to say we had two paddle fields and then two other sports areas which were uh, only just for football, but uh, we used to use them too. One particular thing about the building is that the school has an airplane at the center of the school, which is awesome. Of course, as I said, it's not treated very well, it's not maintained very well. I knew that there was an idea uh, that started from the school, but it was finance, where the school wanted to make the aircraft, which is a bike car, if I don't get it wrong interactive museum where you could go on board and there were monitors telling you uh, all of the history of the aircraft and stuff like that and make it accessible to people because when i was there at the time it was not accessible to anyone it was actually a little bit dangerous to get too close to the aircraft but it was very very nice to see i think that i said pretty much everything uh, if you want to let me know how is the aeronautical school, the aeronautical high school in general in your country, leave a comment down below in the description. I want to leave you with my best advice if you have to choose your high school. Choose something that you like. Don't get influenced by others or parents. If you can, just get into something that you really like and that you know that you would like to be annoyed from you know this is, was a question that i used to ask to myself when you will get bored studying aviation will you still like it and i always answered myself yes i would definitely still like that even though if for that moment i would be a little bit annoyed or bored i would definitely still like it and here i am a pilot <laughs>